Let's make it real simple, one of the most valuable practices to have. Knowing the belief you want to have, and therefore create the life through the belief you want to have, right? So knowing the life you want to live, right? Practice getting an idea of what that is like for you. Practice visualization. Be willing to practice ideally on a daily basis, visualizing into the scenarios, the situations, the beingness, the embodiment of having, experiencing, doing what you dream of, what would be best for you, what would give you the most amount of joy, fulfillment, upliftment, creativity, connection, authentic expression, being self-expressed, right? And practicing feeling into what it would feel like, right? By using the power of imagination and mind and visualization, right? Practicing generating emotions, feelings, energy running through the body with creating the pictures and connecting to your dream life, right? So that more and more throughout the day, you can spend time being in connection to that energy, to that access point, to what you best imagine for yourself and be willing to do the spiritual development, if you will, the opening of mind of possibilities to goodness, to what would be best, right? And practice being willing to explore. Yes, the physical world is one layer of reality, but then there's our own inner reality, and then there's the reality that we can connect with in our highest states of possibility, joy, fulfillment. And be willing to consider that that is also reality, right? When we tap into our hearts and allow ourselves to visualize, to imagine what we, we, what we would most want, what would most bring us each alive and into our goodness and into our creativity and our genius, right? What would that feel like? And trust that that is just as vital as valid of a reality to connect to so that therefore throughout the day be willing to practice having the thoughts in towards that reality right and spending time feeling as if you are that person living your best life your dream life doing what is best for you what would you would most enjoy doing right and practicing that throughout the day Right, going from knowledge to intellectualizing to internalizing and then embodiment and being willing to practice that because it does take practice and time just like all the great, say, sports stars and the inventors and creators and artists that have created amazing things for all of us. They all had that part within their development, right? Practicing visualization right now comes to mind Kobe Bryant or Phil Jackson basketball teams, just as one little example from pro sports, but many sports athletes, many creatives, artists, visionaries in every field of our world, many, if not all of them have that significant piece in their daily experience and their daily practices. So, and we all have that power. So inviting you to practice that, right? Knowing the belief you want to activate and you want to create life from and practicing connecting to that in thought, right? It helps to have a foundation of visualization, of practicing to embody, to start to move into the body, that energy, that feeling, so that over time you get used to having that access point in a regular time in the day and then being able to access it throughout each moment through each day. And the more you start to be in connection and to speak, to perceive, 
to take action from that energy, from that reality, the more it'll come to you with greater ease and serendipity. So that's the part about connecting to what is wanted, right? And feeling, embodying the energies of what it would feel like so that you can attract it from that place within. And the other piece is knowing the belief you want to let go is the other side of this practice, right? And recognizing the habitualness of your thinking when it comes to being, well, attached, right? Uh, to the fear and to the beliefs that have become habitual over time in the past right but it's ones you know you want to let go of so therefore it's recognizing the belief you want to change you want to let go of and recognizing all the thoughts and the stories associated with that belief and your experience and being willing to practice okay noticing when they come in when they intrude when the, the habitualness in the thinking and then being willing to stop catch yourself and let go right Practice ignoring the thoughts that are, right, of a quality of an energy that is negative, that is pessimistic, that is fearful, that is in judgment of self or others, right? And practice letting that go. Practice engaging, connecting to, right, the embodiment, the thoughts, the thinking, the perceiving, right, possibilities, Practicing that and practicing letting go when you notice yourself in habitual old thinking, right? The old energies. And that's the practice, right? And it's just, it's one of those things is it is a practice and it's not necessarily easy. And one of that may just be most people we're surrounded by is in habitual thinking is in, well, pessimism or judgment or not opening up to possibilities, right? Um, if, if a lot of people in your life are stuck, right, it may not be easy for you to practice that. That's why it's important to be aware that you can start to create space for the practice and that over time if you create space with yourself practicing with yourself find others that are willing to move towards a similar direction of growth and learning right and practices right and then more and more you'll increase your capacity to deal with the people in your life that are choose to not you know support themselves in positive change right we all have people and dynamics in our lives where you know we're, we're maybe we're wanting to change and grow but others in our relationships may not be and that's okay over time it's learning to still be in connection and not needing to right be in negative response or reaction or relations even with people that don't have similar views or understandings or intentions towards a certain world or relationship or reality so that's the practice right practice throughout the day noticing how often you're spending time in thoughts that are generative that are supportive empowering loving right kind patient right generative versus thoughts that are habitual that are from the past that are based in fear or survival, or protection, or defensiveness, or suppression, or repression, or hiding, right? Posturing and not speaking your truth and what you really want to express. And that's the practice, right? Let's make it real simple. Practice having good thoughts and letting go of the bad thoughts. Be willing to have a foundation of cultivating, of anchoring the embodiment the energy that you really want your life to be and with practice you'll start attracting from that point of attraction all right all the best to you and if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out